Good evening. I've got seven people in. Hi, six o'clock. Hi. Onigashimasu! Welcome back to the Gojuru Karate Center. Uh, we're live streaming and hopefully some of you will join and train. You can see there are five or six people in, a couple of thumbs up. This is great. Um, tonight we will do warm-ups. We will do some uh, basics uh, or bunkai. Uh, kind of combined from maybe Gigsada Ich and Gigsada Nikata. So the target group would then be white, yellow, maybe orange belt, um, our first three grades. And we will run through it slowly and then build tempo as we go along so that you get the idea of training with some tempo, a little bit of explanation as we're going on. In other words, part the work as we work out work and show you the individual bonkai so you can visualize what you're doing in your living room and then uh, we we work towards something that is the the idea of uh, a, a class and then hopefully we will finish with a little bit of the kata uh, maybe the kata done a little bit differently in a small space so that you can accommodate your own training maybe if you're training in lockdown somewhere living room or lounge or passageway etc etc for all of our foreigners who are joining us thank you very much please don't forget to like and subscribe we appreciate every person's input and uh, maybe revisit and give serious input uh, maybe in an hour or two after so that we get something uh, worthwhile. Uh, hello, Sensei William Young. Uh, I know it's probably in the, either the early hours of the morning where you live. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm always super stoked to see your name pop up. Hi, hey, so without further ado, we are going to get started with warm ups. I'm, and uh, Brian is going to be working a slightly reduced warm up so you get a good workout. Uh, Guten Abend, Daniel. Nice to see you. Um, I hope my German is acceptable. Hey, let's go. Hey, Shimas. Hey. Hey. Shimas. Okay, getting started. We're going to do a little bit of cardio. So, on the spot, doing some jumping jacks. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sech, hach, ku, ju. All right, next, shuffles. Itch. Ni, san, shi, go, rook, sech, hach, ku, ju. Jumping jacks again. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sech, hach, ku, ju. Shuffles. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sech, hach, ku, ju. And running on the spot. And lift your knees nice and high. And jumping on the spot. And to my count, you're going to jump up in the air, touch your knees to your chest. Ready, itch. Ne. Sun. Shi. Go. Rook. Sech. Hutch, Ku, and Ju. All right, put your hands on your hips. Lifting your big toes off the floor, keep your little toes flat. Itch, Ni, Sun, Shi, Go, Rook, Sitch, Hutch, Ku, Ju. Keep your big toe flat, little toes up. Itch, Ni, Sun, Go, Rook, Sitch, Hutch, Ku, Ju. Rolling your ankles, itch, ni, sun, shi, go, rook, sech, hach, ku, ju. Up on your toes, down on your heels. Itch, ni, sun, shi, go, rook, sech, hach, ku, ju. And lift up one leg, turning your ankle, itch, 
Sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju, out of the way. Yich, ni, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Up and down, itch, ni, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. And spinning your leg, itch, ni, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Other way, itch, ni, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, Hutch, ku, ju, and straighten out your leg. Yich, ni, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju, and down. Lift your other leg up, turning your ankle. Yich, ni, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Other way, yich, ni, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. And lifting your foot up and down, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Spinning your leg, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Other way, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Straightening out your leg, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, Sitch, hutch, ku, ju, and down. Put your hands just above your knees. Don't let your back bend. Keep your back nice and straight. And push down. Go down into your haunches. Keep your back nice and straight. And come up. So, itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, Hutch, ku, ju. Come up. Now, as you go down, bend, rotate your knees, come up. Itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. And come up. Put your hands on your hips, twisting your hips. Itch, knee. Sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Other way, itch, knee. Sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Extend your arms and twist your body, extend to the rear. Itch, knee, sun, she, go, Rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. And swing your arms forwards, itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Backwards, itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. And put your fingers together, put your hands together, rolling your wrists, itch, sun, shi, go, rook, Hutch, ku, ju. All right. Everybody take your pinky finger, put it on your chest, grab your hand, twist it from the outside, and twist it. Itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Other hand, itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Grab your thumb, Pull it down to your forearm, itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Backwards, itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Other hand, pull your thumb down to your forearm, itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Backwards, itch, knee, Sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. And shake your hands out, looking left and right. As you look to your left, pull your right shoulder back. And as you look to your right, pull your left shoulder back. Itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Looking up and down, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, 
hot to do. All right. And try and get your ear to touch your shoulder. Itch. Ni. Sun. Shi. Go. Rup. Sitch. Hot. Ku. Ju. All right. And put your arms out in front of you nice and straight. All right. So what you're going to do now is you're going to lift your knee up. Touch your hand. I'm not smacking your knee. Just lift your knee up. Touch your hand. Ready. Itch. Ni. Sun. Shi. Go. Rup. Sitch. Hutch. Ku. Ju. And raise your hands up, touching your toes to your fingers. Itch. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go. Rup. Sitch. Hutch. Ku. Ju. All right. Put your hands on your hips. Put your heels together. Put your toes together. Itch. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go. And extend out your arms. Put them in chamber. As I count, go down to Shikadach, push your arms out, and exhale. As you come up, pull your arms in, and inhale. So, it'll be down, out, up, and in. Ready, itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ke, Ju. Okay, now, as you go down, push to the floor, as you come up, turn your hands into fists, pull them into chamber, and push your hip up. Ready, itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ke, ju. Hi. Ready for you, Sensei? Hi. Thank you very much. Okay, so, I uh, see our numbers have climbed, and it uh, looks like everybody is hopefully joining in and training a little bit. So, please remember our guideline for this live stream. Number one, my target, white, yellow, orange belts. The first three grades within a dojo, uh, students training anywhere between uh, walk-in, beginners, they've got a bit of basics maybe, to maybe two, maybe three years, okay? We're not talking about rapid grading in, in, in the sense, we're talking about people who are just getting to grips with the cutters, geeks at itch and geeks at any. And we're building from that. Now, if you're a higher belt, obviously whatever we're doing, we're working on polish. And it's the polish that separates whether or not an answer in a grading is a good answer or a bad answer. So we always say there's two parts to every test in karate grading where, where we're working. Um, a, do you know the answer? And B, how neat is your handwriting? So what is the polish that occurs on what you're showing? You might know the answer, but if the polish is bad, at the execution is bad, then chances are, if you're doing some kind of grading, some kind of testing, some kind of assessment, then you might not do as well as you think. Um, as far as Bunkai goes, within our school, uh, and when I say our school, I mean within my dojo, uh, I'm more interested in do you have an answer? Not necessarily do you have my exact answer, especially when we get towards grading for higher belts. So I'm a little bit more open-ended, a little open-minded, but what I am very interested in is what is the degree of polish on what you're doing. So that's the first thing. The next thing, this is textbook karate. It's this beautiful stuff that is picture perfect at the end of each movement. The practicality might be a little bit reduced, but it is a point where we start working from until we can get to the point where we were dealing with somebody grabbing on and everything is much closer. Some of the comments over the last uh, three or four days after Kurumfa's Bunkai video is the general consensus is the closer you get, the more exciting it gets and the better the Bunkai gets. And that's 100%, all right? And the easiest way to bring somebody closer or to have somebody closer change the attack, 
from a long extending punch to somebody grabbing on and taking a swing at your head or headbutt for your face or knee to the groin. And with that in mind, we're working from a starting point to an end point. So, without any further ado, let us get on with some training. Okay, so, we're gonna start with very, very simple, relaxed, you're in a Kamai, you're gonna shift to the side one, so you're in a Sanjan Dutch, block Ageoke, you're going to match feet for the management of space, in and out, and then you're gonna come back in, and as you come in, I want you to twist your body. So you're still on that 45 degree axis. I want you to block with this hand and step forward and strike with a get on Tetsuyuchi, okay? A groin hammer fist to the groin. And you're gonna move back. So I'm facing the camera. You are the attacker on the other side of the camera or I'm the attacker to you. You move to the side, twist the body slightly. Block along the attack. Gonna bring their attack down. Respond with the attack to the face. They defend it. Move out the way. They counter. Block and on a 45 degree, moving in and striking. And ready. So, one, 45. Block along the arm. So, deflection and control. Two, bring that arm down a little bit. In, high punch. Three, swivel, block the next attack. Slide in, groin strike. Come back on guard. All right, this moving back on guard, some people, uh, uh, it's been frowned upon sometimes in some places, but I like to do it. And it's very simple. What if the person responds again? It's just good zanchim. Paying attention to your surroundings and to the moment you're in and not leaving it and walking away. Just now somebody hits you on the head with something else, okay? So that's why we do this kind of come back on guard and still in a heightened sense of awareness. Moving to the side. One. Deflecting block. Lift the arm. Pull. Forward punch, back, block, strike, and back on guard. One, two, three, four, five, and ready. One, two, three, four, five, and ready. One, Two, three, and ready. One, two, three, and ready. So we're trying to make it a little bit more smooth, adding a little bit more polish. Itch, knee, sun, ready. Itch, knee, sun, ready. Itch, knee, sun, ready. Try. Increase your speed, your tempo. Itch, knee, sun. Ready. Right. When I get tired, Brian trains hard. I'm a bad, bad sensei. <laughs> Come, Brian, let's go. Hey. You ready? Zippy's he's got it. Itch, knee, sun. Ready. Watch out, not too high. Finish above the knee. Ready. Itch, knee, sun. 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 Ready. Itch, knee, sun, ready. Oh, Brian, terrible form. Ready, one count, all the moves, Brian. Itch. Where was your moving on guard? Uh, knee. Sun. Chain. Back the way you move, Brian. 
Go! Rock! Watch the sickle that's getting too low. A little bit A-frame house. You ready? Set! Better. Hot! Go! Jump! Hey, yeah, man. All right. So, the count should increase in tempo because we want to challenge you. We want you to push yourselves. And if you're training along, hopefully you're starting to perspire a little bit, the temperature's going up, and you're getting a little bit energetic. You need to be energetic, okay? Next thing, as you become more and more accustomed to doing it, it becomes second nature. It becomes second nature, it starts to happen in other places. So it becomes intuitive, instinctive. When you're doing randori or kumite, suddenly something happens, you don't feel like you want to be there, you move and you change. The most important part is that this is a series of ideas that can lend themselves to individual wormholes, little rabbit holes, like watching Alice in Wonderland. You go down, and as you explore your karate, you find the most amazing things in some of those little rabbit holes. Okay, so let us move on. Concept number two, or bunkai number two, that we're gonna follow. So we're gonna move, this time, we're starting to our right side, which is indicative of being on the inside. Chest block. And again, on that 45 degrees. Kick, elbow, hurricane, block. Now I'll take a little step. And gyakuzuki. And move back and on guard. So, one, two, three, four, five. Little step, six. And back on guard. One, Two, three, four, five. Little step. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready. 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 Okay. Let's go. Push a little bit harder. Let's keep up uh, with Brian if you can, youngins. Uh, and let's see how things go. You ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Ready. Brian, move just a little bit back. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. And ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready. Try and focus where your individual techniques are going. So don't look at the camera so much. Look where your opponent would be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready? A little bit faster. One count, all the moves. Uh, 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 uh. Patience is a virtue. Itch. Come on. All the oh, opponent is long gone. That one was terrible. One count, all the moves. Nay. Sun. Concentrate that you don't lose your stance as you're going. Chi. Fix the kick. Your foot's going up the person's nose. Aim for the groin and the bladder. Go. Just don't kick with your toes like this, Brian. You're kicking like this. Kick with the ball of the foot. Rock. Sit. Faster! Itch! Faster! Push yourself! Nay! Keep going! Turn! Faster! Jay! Go! 
Come on, just one more rep. Rock, one more rep. That's. Hands. Push, push, push. Clear. And jump. All right. Are you out of breath now? You should be. Okay. The whole idea is to check where is your limit. How far can you push yourself until you get exhausted? And every time you get closer and closer to that edge, and you do one more rep, one more rep, you become much fitter, much stronger, much faster, much better. But more important, we're not just building your karate, we're building your character. And in building your character, you become more and more of a solid person because you'll take more crap from other people before you react. Okay, and that makes better sense in the chaos of the world around us. It means you'll be able to do more and keep a level head. And that's what we're after. Strong character. All right. The forge, which is the dojo and karate training, is to strengthen your character. And we want you all to have amazing character. All right. So let's move on. So since this is a gig set edge kind of combined kick set and knee, we now do a little bit of kick set and knee, okay? So, first thing we're gonna do is, hmm, I think I will keep it about mobility, about moving, about shifting, okay? So, our first bunkai we're gonna consider is again, stepping slightly to your right side, so we're effectively on the inside, block. Now, when you're on the inside, the other person has a hand and a foot and they can hit you with that, so, you're immediately going to twist, block, grab on, and strike, and ready. So, this could be either a double punch, or izuki gyakuzuki, or it could be a move to the inside of an oizuki, redirect that oizuki, and then strike. It's one of two bunkai, okay? You ready? So, let's move to the left. One, small step, two, three. Ready, to the right, one, two, three, ready, left, one, two, three, ready, right, one, two, three, ready. So I'd like you to try and not have it. The cutter is uh, usually slow, fast, faster. I want you to think, imagine using those last two steps, the speed there, okay? so. As soon as we get one, two, three, we can have a pause between two and three, okay? So let's go one, now the other way, two, three, four, five, six, Brian, come on. Seven, in, out, round. There we go. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Relax, Brian, relax so you can move faster. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so let's have a quick breather. If you do this, and you hold your breath, what's gonna happen is your body is gonna get very tired very quickly. Don't hold your breath for power. Rather, breathe. All right, that's exaggerated breathing, so you can see what's going on. But the idea is that breathing the whole time okay you don't have to think about breathing but you do have to train your breathing so think about what maybe you've seen in some of the videos now obviously big no-no 
in the OGKK is to breathe audibly that people can hear you. But there is a reason it happens. And the reason is quite logical. We breathe loud so people can hear and that people can copy. And when you hear yourself breathing, then you get an idea that you're breathing. Now, as soon as you're comfortable with it, make the breathing silent so you don't hear it. So please keep your mouth open so you can breathe on each technique. Okay, you ready, Brian? Let's do 10 more. Okay. Here we go, move backwards a little bit. You ready, itch. Nay. Sad. J. Go. Rook. Six. Hut. Go. All right, excellent. Hopefully everybody is improving and what's happening is you're getting a grip with your breathing. All right, so I'm sure amongst everybody that's there, there might be a few more senior belts. So we do another bunkai. Yeah, I'm going down that tangent. And the bunkai is aimed more at senior students. So number one, one, two, three, Ready. One, outside. Two, head and head. Three, throw it. Hand hitting, not like this, kind of an angle with the idea of grabbing onto that neck. Ready, here we go. Outside, here, throw it, neck. Ready. Outside. Here and throw it and neck. And ready. Out. Here and throw it. Don't pull chamber. Pull down. And ready. One, two, three. All right, let's go. So, this may be for more advanced students, like maybe black belts. Ready. It. Knee! And extend the arm fully, Brian. That's it. Sun! Chi! Go! Rook! Six! Hut! Kick! And you! A little bit faster, okay, Brian? Itch! Nay, Rasta, push yourself. Sun, bump, bump, bump. Jay, one, two, three. Go, one, two, three. Rook, six. Hut, go. Oh, jump. All right, I'm in. Okay, so if you're a little E and you just got to do this, um, you should put this in a little box in your mind, like a little treasure trove of all of the craziest things your sensor ever shows you and keep it for one day when you're a lot older and take it out the box and hopefully it makes a little bit of sense. It is a very, very violent and gruesome bunkai. All right, so we're going to move on with the kata. So our next idea, one, two, and ring. Okay, so move, block, hit, block, hit. And this is very similar to the way you would end off maybe a straight line uh, gigs at itch training exercise, okay? So we move inside, one, two, and ready. Let's go to the other side. One, two, and ready. And one, two, and ready. Okay, maybe slow down so we can work on the footwork. One, up and twist, two, and ready. One, up and twist, two, and ready. Try time that as your foot plots, your hands extend, okay? So not together, but Boom, boom. Okay, as you touch and you ground it, release. You ready? Let's go to this side. 
One. And ready. Now to the left side. Two. And ready. Three. And ready. Four. And ready. Five. And ready. Six. And ready. Brian's chance. Let's put him through his paces. You ready? H. And ready. Nay. Watch out for crossing your arms. Try to finish on top of one another. If you're from uh, IOGKF, maybe you practice this way. That's okay. You ready? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right. Cool. All right. Let's jump ahead. Let's go to a different kind of bunkai. Okay? So the whole idea training bunkai to help equip you for grading. So I like the idea of using the lines that you're kind of looking at in the cutter for your bunkai. I don't know if you've cottoned on to that, but generally speaking, if I do the first three moves, I look one way, and then I change direction, I look another way, and I repeat, and then I look to the front, and I go all the way up to here, then I look to the back, maybe, Gixadani, all the way to here. Then I look to the front. One, either double punch or mawashi uke. Okay? Now, I like it because it means that we can use this technique as an opening technique rather than just doing it on its own. So, basic block, strike the throat. That's easy. That's our Gixad H Bunkai. All right, our very basic kicks at each punk guy. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a little bit more advanced. Remember I said kicks at each, kicks at a knee. So we're gonna be touching on it as a kicks at a knee punk guy, okay? So number one, we're standing like this and the attack is coming for our center and we're gonna catch like this. So it's like, uh, nearly like some sort of freestyle and then bringing your hand into your center before you push the water to the side gonna catch like this and you're gonna help guide the punch to miss you okay so you reach in guide the punch to miss you reach in guide the punch to miss you so you're gonna intercept their attack early on try guide it past your body the attack is coming you're guiding it and now did you notice I took a little step forward so guide and step forward. So guide, step forward. Guide and step forward. So if you're wondering where that funny stepping comes from, and if you've trained or watched any of my other videos, normally for Gekusai Dai Ich Bunkai, for Gedambarai on its own, we go one and then two. Or one, two. So now we're using that concept of stepping to lead us into this next place. So, intercept, and now, strike, grab on, pull, or a zerk, push, ready. So, intercept, strike, grab on, pull. Or a zip, push. Okay, I'm doing a punch, but I'm telling you to push. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. And ready. One, two, three, four. And ready. Intercept, strike. Grab on, pull, urzuk, punch. Ready. OK? 
Okay? I just see lots of comments. All right. This is always in the back of the house doing stuff. You ready? One, two, three, four. And ready. Okay, let's put uh, Brian, the Dechi, to some test. You ready, Brian? Nice and safe. Okay, imagine the punching right hand. So move to the inside. One. Brian, you just failed. You went to the outside. Okay, move to the inside and do the whole thing. You ready? Itch. And ready. Okay, now punching with my left hand. Move to the inside. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Cool. All right. That was part one. There's another part that comes with it. So, right. So this is a little bit more advanced again. This is a, a treasure trove bunkai. Something you keep for special memories. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Ah. Now turn ninety degrees. Two, three, four, five, and ready. Okay. Yeah, that second bit's a little complicated. It's okay. Hope you're enjoying it. Let's do it again, nice and slowly. Okay, they're punching with the left hand, so we move to the inside. Deflect, strike, grab on the hair or the collar, pull, punch. Push them away, let's punch again. Deflect, move 90 degrees. One. It's kind of bigger. Okay, one, down, two. Bring them down, three, four. And ready. Okay, to the right, punch. One, two. Three, four, five. A little bit bigger. Six, seven. Take them down. Eight. And ready. To the left hand punch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over. Pull. And strike. This is so complicated that you need to watch. Maybe I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so we're gonna move really far away, so maybe, okay. All right, so Brian over here. Brian punches one, go one, one, two. Grab, get down, push. He punches with the same hand again. Because uh, we're doing set work. One, the set goes under, pull, the set over his nose, down. Okay, I've been hitting with this hand, we should be hitting with this hand. You can use a hurricane or a hammer fist. Okay, let's see again. Okay, uh, South African term for this is cake fear. All right, so one. Intercept, grab, pull, groin shot, push him away. He punches again. Two, three, four, and hit. And up we get. And importance of following up with some kind of on guard, some kind of awareness, some kind of zanchen. All right, let's get back to training. So sorry for bouncing you around. Here we go. All right, so right hand punch. One, two, three, four. One, 90 degree turn. 
two, hook, pull. Instead of this hand, this hand, pull. Nice. Use this hand, either urakin or hammer fist. And back on guard. All right, left hand punch. One, intercept. Two, pull. Punch, punch, twist. Block, double punch. Hook, pull, take down, or again, or hammer fist. Whatever is your favorite, and back on guard. Okay, let's see how everybody does with Brian. You ready? Let's go, Brian. Here we go. One. Come on, whole thing. I think he messed that up. Oh boy. You ready? Two, left hand punching. Uh oh, I think uh, maybe I'd need to do it again. Ready? And three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bottom hand. Over, top hand, pull down, or I can, or hammer first, and maybe up with the, on guard. You ready? Left hand, one, two, three, four, block, five, hook and trap the arm, bring them down. I'm just coming into screen, so you bring them down like this, and then, ba, and ready, watch them get up, and on guard. You ready, Brian? Hopefully you got corrections. You ready? Five. Oh, you're not using your bottom hand. You ready? Six. That's better. Right. Ready? Seven. Uh -huh. uh, first thing's over here. You ready? It's so much harder when you don't have a partner, isn't it? Eight. Nine. Oh, we need to remember to twist the body. You can see he's a young guy, big strong shoulders, just using brute force. I'm old and grumpy now, so I don't use brute force. I try and use a little bit of ingenuity. Let's try it again. So, everybody, one, twist your body, soft, okay? Deceptive. Now, together. One, two. Up, deflect, and double punch. Now, the person's head's here, the front leg's there, back leg's there, and the spine is going to go that way around. So we're going to bend the arm, push them down. So bring this arm up, feel it, hook the arm, and then crank down on their elbow joint. That's gonna force their arm to do this. It's gonna put their body weight on their front leg. It's gonna draw them out. Now, this hand, which was by their head, put your hand under their nose or under their chin. Lift it up, and now use your hip to help pull yourself down. So now your opponent's on the floor. Now, Crank this arm up, or again, or hammer fist. And ready. Okay, let's try it again. Imagine left side attacking. So, deflect soft. Grab on, pull now, hard, hard. Now, soft. And hook, bend. Here you're gonna need, you know, chishi. Uh, 
Chishi exercise. That's what you're using. That's why we do it. Okay, so over here, hook, up, and pull him down. And pull. And now, we're okay. Okay, I hope you're enjoying that. <laughs> okay, Brian, one more time. Let's see if you can get it right. If Brian is making a mess, chances are somebody else is also making a mess, and hopefully the corrections help everybody. You ready? Slowly, one count, one movement. Not the complete thing, okay? One, two, grab, pull, punch, push, up, block, Pull back, double punch. Crank the arm, under the head, turn the hip. There we go, turn your hip. That's it, pull the arm, and, or again, or hammer fist, much better. And let's go to the other side. One, two, three, four, one, Two, three, and crank, and under, twist the hip, take him down, and pull, and smack. There we go. All right, you ready? Now imagine the person punching with their right hand, and move to the ad side, and strike with your right hand. You ready? One. Okay, two. Three, four, and five, and twist, and pull, and whack. Good. And one more to the left side. You ready? Go for it. On your own. Begin. Great, cool. So we've been working through and you've now seen that one. Okay, let's do the end of the kata. So, um, very, very basic kicks at a knee, bunkai ending. Move to the inside. One, two, chamber, move in a little. One, two, and three. And ready. So, little kids, get in, hands on and a hard shove. Push the person away, make space so you can back out. You ready? One, two, slide in a little bit. One, two, three. Now, if we want to add some power, we can increase the power by stepping forward into maybe a Zen Kutsudach. You ready? One, two, little bit. One, two. Now, front foot, just Extend. There we go. And one, two, three, four. Extend. Ready? Itch. One, two, three, four. Extend. Knee. One, two, three, four. Extend. Come on, Brian, you can do it. Five. And ready. You don't have to stay in shot, okay? Six. And ready. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four, faster, Brian. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, cool. All right, so we've kind of covered all the bits and pieces. Now, the next challenge is to try and do your cutter in whatever space you've got. Now, for me, it's gonna be particularly interesting because I'm going to try to stay in 
the, the camera in the screenshot angle, okay? Um, which means I'm going to have funny footwork because I'm adjusting for a very small space. I got lots of space. I could do my cut in its normal way. But I want to put myself in your position of having a very limited amount of space, possibly, maybe in your bedroom, your passage, your lounge, etc. And you don't have too much space. So do it as best as you can according to the constraints of your space. You ready? Let's go. Kill ski. Three. Kicks at the itch first. Kicks at the itch. Doi. Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Goruk. Sitch. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Goruk. Six. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Look. Six. Hot. All right. One more time. You ready? Kyotsuke. Three. Kicks an itch. Yoi. Itch. Ni. San. Itch. Ni. San. Itch. Ni. San. Chi. Goruk. Sitch. Itch. Ni. Sanji, Goruk, sit, itch, ni, san, chi, go, look, sit, and maybe on God, just where, what's going on, okay, right, kick set any, let's get. Same concept. Make it fit wherever you're in. Ready? Ready? Kick set a knee. Lloyd. Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go look. Sit. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go look, itch knee, sun, chi, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, look, sit. Alright, one more time. You ready? Kyotsuke. Three. Kicks at the knee. Doi. Itch, knee, sun, itch. Knee, sun, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, look, sit, itch, knee, sun, chi, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, look, sit. Okay, so hopefully we've done a little bit of cut up. Done a little bit of basics. And with two minutes left, maybe I show you one or two things. Okay, hold on. We need more space. All right, left side attack. One, Jordan Zuki. Two, three. He now twists and punches with this hand. Full guy number one. First kunkai we did. All right, that's our attack. One, two, three, four. He punches. Five. I need a little bit of space. Straight punch, nothing. So that's why that funny little step. And the gyakuzuki. All right. Then we did inside outside. So hold on. So first one, he punches itch. And immediately second punch, gyakuzuki punch, knee strike. Okay? Or, I told you there was two. He punches one, I redirect, I move to the outside, and I strike. Alright? 
that was double than we did this particular bonkai on its own. Oh, one, two, quite easy. Same idea as before. He does a punch inside, second punch comes, and the second punch. Or he can do two punches. All right, so he punches, you go outside, second punch, outside. Okay, and then the push, ready, he punches one, hold on, punch the other hand please, Brian, one, that's it, one, two, hip, shoulder, push the person away. Now, if you're an adult, sometimes it's not a good idea to push the person away, we want to end the fight, so then, a little bit this way, Brian, okay, he punches one, left hand, one, two, groin. You take the groin, the face comes forward, face. And that's all you need. Hey, I have to go same as. So, at the end, maybe show you what the different bunkai are. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. We really appreciate it for everybody who's joined us, who's woken up early or has stayed up late. Thank you very much. I will go and read all the comments just now. Uh, before we shut everything down. I really appreciate the sacrifice that you make to be followers and to contribute to our channel. It means a lot to us. I hope you're all having a spectacular day, whether it is the end of the day or the start of the next day. Stay well, stay safe. Arigato gozaimasu. Sayonara. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Oh wow, Sensei Divina is here from Qatar. Hello, Qatar. Hello, Jean A. Hello, Zach. Sensei Sammy, nice to see you following us. Thank you very much for all the messages, Sensei Sammy Owens. Hi, Tristan. Uh, Jaden. Sensei Davina. Oh, wow, I'm super stoked. Hello, Dad. The Bobishi technique. You'll have to send me a video so I know what you're talking about. I really appreciate every little bit. Thank you very much. Knife uh, function. Ah, Daniel, we will touch on knife function. Maybe not this next class, uh, maybe next week. Hi, thank you, everybody. Have a lovely evening.